Vande Tripura, an initiative of School Education Department, Government of Tripura. Good afternoon. How are you? I think all of you are fine. Okay. Now today my chapter is Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. So the road not taken, here you see I have written road not taken and this poem is written by a famous poet, American poet Robert Frost. The full name of this poet is Robert Lee Frost. So Robert Lee Frost, now first of all I want to show you a picture of Robert Frost, our poet. See a photo of Robert Frost. He was a famous American poet, written many poems in his lifetime. He is the name of his int intimate friend is Thomas Edward Thomas. Now here is about our poet that is Robert Frost. Robert Lee Frost was an American poet. His works was initially published in England before it was published in America. One of the most popular and respected American poets of the 20th century. You know, the Robert Frost, he is highly, okay, you have seen the, this slide and you have understood, uh, understood, I think you have understood everybody that who was Robert Frost, Robert Lee Frost was an American poet. His work was initially published in England and before it was published in uh, America. He was most popular and respected American poets of the 20th century. Robert Frost, he was born in 1874 at San Francisco, USA and died in the year 1963 Boston, United States of America. Robert Frost, he is highly regarded for his realistic depiction of rural life. He has depicted the rural scene in such a way that the readers find it effective while reading his poems. He was honored and received four Pulitzer Prizes for his poetry. Among his noted poems, I can, I can mention Fire and Ice, then uh, the stars and many more. This poem that is the road not taken, this poem is a narrative poem. So your question is what do you mean by this narrative poem? Narrative poem is something that tells us a story, a storyline. So this road not taken, road not taken is written in the year 1915. And uh, why it was written at that time? It was written in 1915 just as a joke for his, this Robert Frost intimate friend Thomas Edward, Edward Thomas, for his friend Edward Thomas. So this is all about Robert Frost and uh, I have told you about his intimate friend also Edward Thomas. Now, I am going to read the poem aloud. The road not taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler long I stood and looked down one as far as I could. To hold it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing deer had all them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves. No step had trodden black. Oh, I kept 
to the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubt it as I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and I. I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. So I have read it aloud this point. Now I am going to read it stanza wise and explain to you about the poem. Students, you can see a man, he is standing and two roads are diverged. So he is standing, Robert Frost here, he is uh, telling that he is standing and he is in such a difficult condition to choose which way he should take. He should take which way? See, two paths are uh, there and the man standing there, he is in a difficult condition, he is in ambiguity. A manushta dumbate achin, je kun rasta da kun potta, shoti hobe, kun potta te gele, she thik oti hobe, oti destination opus poncho to barbe. Dioto rasta ikintu, shaman de kajach, mani eki rokum. Dunuta rasta eki rokum ekun kun potta shed choice korbe or ui choice rupuri or purota depend korche or success depend korche. Clear? So, amadu life yo kintu ebabe option ashi. Ekashwa ashi jamra kun stream te thik babe choice korbo, jamra kun field te choice korbo. Clear? Amit madilke aita slide show gulchi. The poem is relevant to our life. The poem says that he was faced with the option of two paths in the woods. This is similar to the career options we have in life and choose one out of them. Is not it? See a man is standing and two roads that are diverged and uh, the man is uh, in, in, in ambiguity that to choose the which one would be the right path, which one would be the, the right path. Similar way, we also uh, sometimes face this situation. This is similar to the career options also. Whether uh, I should take the option of a doctor or engineer because if I start uh, reading or studying or uh, cho if I choose that option engineer and going back to this line for a long time then uh, I can't come back from that line and then again choose doctor. So this is a very difficult uh, time to, cho to choose the right option. So we also have, is not it, we, we also have this condition in life that is to choose the right one out of them. Now as I can say for the introduction to the poem, the poet wants to convey an important message to us, Robert Frost, he wants to convey an important message to us. Our future depends on our present. The career option we choose to be will determine what we become tomorrow. We must be careful as we do not get the privilege to go back on the option once left. Here you see a tree diagram. Here architect, CA, lawyer, doctor, engineer, artist, journalist, CS. So many options are there. So our present, it conveys the future. The career option we choose today will determine what we become tomorrow. We must be very much careful in order to choose the right option. Because once we choose the option, we can't come back from that. Suppose you have chosen that I will be a doctor now, uh, I am now studying in a medical line. 
while you have passed three years, four years of that medical and can you can, uh, come back from that? No. So, this is very much important to choose the correct option as uh, we can't again come back. So, it is very much difficult also and this present, pres our present uh, choice, this will determine our future life also, that whether we can be successful or not. So, the present decision is very much important for us. Robert Frost emphasizes on this point only. Clear? So, in this way, road not taken, I am going to explain now stanza wise. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and so I could not travel both. And the one traveler, Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Two words diverse, that is two words here diverse that is symbolizes, you know this two words symbolizes, symbolic term. What it symbolizes? That is the choices in our life. Two words uh, symbolizes the choices in our life to, to choose the correct path, correct way. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Here yellow wood means what? That is a forest is full of colored leaves in autumn. Also <coughs> this yellow wood it symbolizes old people. Clear? Now, this two road symbolizes the choices of a life that is very much important for us and sorry I could not travel both. Our poet says that I can't take both the path. He must choose what? Only one path. He can't take both the path and the one traveler long I stood. And the one traveler, law I stood. And so the poet stands in a, see here the poet is standing in a, uh, uh, there for a long time. For a long time he is standing there only to decide which way he should take. And look down one as far as I could to where it bent in the underground, undergrowth. Here these roads, that is the one of the road that he, uh, when he looked, he saw that it bent down in the, that is uh, full of trees and shrubs, this uh, uh, forest. So, he was in a dilemma that to choose which road, this two road, the poet again I am telling this two road has a symbolic meaning that is to uh, determine which way, which option he should choose because this option is very much important to uh, be successful in future. In the first stanza, so what we have uh, read that is two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. Yes, the poet can't take the two road, only one he had to choose and the one travel a long way to. So, the poet stands for a long time there in order to have the correct option, that he have the correct choice. He wants to choose the correct option only to where it bent in the undergrowth and that road, other road that he had seen that was again uh, in the, uh, that is uh, that he has seen that road was covered with full of trees and plants that is the undergrowth. So, in the first stanza we came across some of the difficult words, now I am writing it, please see, diverse, first of all is diverged. What do you mean by diverse? That is separate, separated 
from another road separated from another road okay next wood that is yellow wood yellow dried leaves and band what do you mean by band that is curved trees and plants okay diverse separated from another road yellow wood a wood with yellow dried leaves bent curved undergrowth dense growth of trees and plants clear then took the other just as fair and having perhaps a better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing deer had all them really about the same then took the other justice fair that is the poet then uh, he made a choice and he took the other he took the other road because the one he wanted to uh, go they he found that that was covered with uh, trees and plants so he chose the other road that uh, other road that was just as fair just as fair just as fair these uh, these have multiple uh, meanings just as fair that is it, uh, the poet here uh, emphasizes that is emphasizes that the f that is beautiful also as well as the road that he had chosen is far more better than the other one he had chosen the right option is not it and and having perhaps a better claim and having perhaps the better claim that is he claims that yes he had chosen the better one because it was grassy and wanted wear the road was grassy and wanted wear wanted wear means if uh, no one uh, wear that is tear that is the road is full of grass and as nobody walked on that grassy road the grass was fully that was beautiful if anybody or uh, if the people would have walked on the, that road the grass would not remain that, like that so the term is wanted wear so can a grass or the road wanted uh, the road be wanted wear no because why because they are not humans here the poet has personified here the poet has personified the term wear Though as for that, the passing deer had all them really about the same. Though as for that, the passing deer had all them really about the same. So in this stage, then took the other. The poet took the other road. Why? Because the first one, first road, that the first road was covered with dense forest and plants. So he chose the other road. and as he had chosen the other road he thought first of all that that was just as fair and just as fair means what quite good it was quite good road because why just as fair it is multiple means that is uh, it is beautiful also as well as this road uh, was not so much covered with that type of other road that the than the earlier one clear and having perhaps the better claim perhaps it is a uh, yes he has the better claim that is better option he had chosen the better option because why it was grassy and wanted wanted wear i have explained you that wanted wear what is wanted wear a road cannot be wanted wear why because uh, road 
is an object, they, these are not humans. So, here the poet personified the road, ok. So, personification is used here. The, uh, though as for that the passing there had owned them really about the same, had owned them really about the same. Just like the, uh, that is the other road, one road that uh, he had told, uh, this road also the people uh, has traveled so much and so the road wanted wear, clear this stranger, next stranger. And both that morning equally lay, and both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubt it if I should ever come back. And both that morning and in the morning equally lay in leaves, both the roads were equally lay, laid in leaves. No one had travelled so far to both of the roads and uh, the road that he had uh, chosen on that road also no person had stepped. Why? How he came to know this one? Because no step had trodden black because the grass was so much fresh uh, by seeing the grass he could easily understand that the the no, no traveler had uh, walked till now no step had trodden black black if they have stepped on the grass the grass might became black in color oh i kept the first for another day Oh, I kept the first for another day. The poet is telling that he had kept the first road for another day. That is some other day. The poet here mentions that he had kept the first road for another day. Another day. Can it be? He, if he move on one of the road, then he can't go to the other other side of the road. Why? Because the two roads are diverse, just like a fork, is not it? Two roads are diverse. So he uh, he is thinking that if I can again come back and go to that road also, but this can't be. This can't happen. And then took the other, just as fair, and having perhaps, no, and both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubt it if I should ever come back. Then why doubts? that can he come back again? No, he can't. If he, if he had chosen one of the road among the two, he can't come back again and go to the other path. Is not it? This, the poet now uh, is in doubt that how to choose that one. Clear? From these, uh, some of the, uh, there is unknown words, I am going to write on the blackboard. Then took the other just as fair. Here fair means quite good. And I have told you that just as fair, this is multiple meanings, fair that it is uh, very much beautiful as well as uh, might be that he has chosen the correct option. His decision is correct, is not it? And having perhaps the better clean. And having perhaps the better claim, here better that is uh, perhaps means what? Perhaps, having perhaps that is maybe, perhaps that is maybe or we can say possibly. 
नेक्स्ट द बेटर क्लेम एंड हैविंग परहेप्स द बेटर क्लेम बेटर क्लेम मींस बेटर ऑप्शन बिकॉज़ इट वाज ग्रासी एंड वांटेड वियर ग्रासी मींस व्हाट दैट इज फुल ऑफ ग्रास आई एम राइटिंग हियर ग्रासी मींस व्हाट फुल ऑफ ग्रास grassy means full of grass wanted wear 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 means for tear this wear means for tear that is the grass they are so fresh that uh, by looking to that grass uh, to that road it is easily uh, we can easily guess that no no traveler ever walked on that road but so the road wanted wear can the road want no because road is a is an object here the road is personified the poet has personified the word road and so uh, it is written as wanted here because the road cannot have any desire or want is not it next here you see there is for them the passing there had owned them really about the same and both that morning equally lay and both that morning equally lay equally lay means here i am writing equally lay that is equally covered with grass equally lay that is what equally covered with grass what covered with grass roads equally the roads are equally covered with grass both the roads now the poet is understanding that both the roads are equally covered with grass in leaves no step had trodden black so only the leaves are uh, they are not black in color no they are all fresh Oh, I kept the first for another day. Now the poet is telling that he had kept the first road for another day. He suppose that uh, today I am going to that uh, to this road, and then tomorrow I will be going to that road. Can this be possible? No. Yet knowing how, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I I doubt it. If I should ever come back, then he doubt it. can he ever come back from uh, his uh, he has chosen the option and from that road can he ever come back again or not now the last stanza of this poem i shall be telling this with a shy somewhere ages and ages hands two roads diverged in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference i shall be telling this with this shy that is a deep breath i shall be telling this with a shy that poet here expresses that with a deep breath of regret sadness he Uh, was telling somewhere ages and ages that is somewhere for a long period hence two years diverged in a wood after a long time he would be thinking that uh, the option that he had made uh, the option he had chosen was it correct or not had he chosen the right option or not because the present option that the present choice is very much important for future development for this thing the poet is narrating here that he has chosen the right option or the wrong option has he uh, was he successful or not in choosing the option Somewhere, ages and ages had two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. 
So, all the difference here, it may indicate that he had chosen right option or wrong option. Because if he uh, is successful in his mission in choosing the correct option, then he is uh, he has chosen the right option. But if he is unsuccessful in uh, having the option, in choosing the option, then he is unsuccessful. Clear? Now, from this stanza also, some of the unknown words I am writing on the blackboard. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Here, sigh, first line means deep breath. It may be of happiness, sadness, etc. Somewhere ages and ages. Here, ages and ages means what? A long period of time. And less travelled by this you know only that is the uh, road that was uh, not uh, travelled by many of the person or it is not travelled at all like this only. Clear? So, in this way we have uh, finished our poem. Now, I am I will be telling you some more things about this poem. In this poem, we came across different figures of speech. First of all, here you see the symbolism. Symbolism, road, the term road, I have said you earlier also, this road symbolizes the direction of life or the choices we make in our lives. You, the students, you also have to choose the right option. The different fields will be there in front of you. So, you have to choose the right option. Okay. So, symbolism, here road symbolizes the direction of life or the choices we make in our life. Somewhere ages and ages, no last stranger we came across one line, second line, somewhere ages and ages, hence this ages and ages repetition, two roads diverse, this repeated two times in this poem, one in the first stranger and other in the last stranger, two roads diverse. So, these are repetition, clear, personification. Because it was grassy and rented we are and having perhaps a better claim. So, in this the road is personified, is not it? The road is personified, it was grassy and wanted. What is wanted? Because wanted here it means for human beings only. Because humans have desire, humans have aspirations, human, humans wish, is not it? Human being wish, human being have desire. So here road have desire, road wanted. How can it be? So, this is personification. The poet here personified the road. The rhyming scheme, be very important. Here you see the rhyming scheme, uh, rhyming scheme. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. See the last word, wood. You pronounce it, wood. Then it is A. Second line, both. Wood, both. It is different. So, it is B. Third line, stood. Wood, stood. Means first line and third line matches. Is not it while pronouncing. So, wood, stood. A, A. Second line, both. Okay, and uh, fourth line, could. So, it also matches with the first and third line. First, third and uh, fourth. These are A, A, A. And fifth line, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Both, growth. Second line, both. And fifth line, growth. So, B, B. So, what is our rhyming scheme? That is A, B, A, A, B. Okay, A, B, A, A, B. This poem has a deep meaning. It deals with the problem of making a right choice. Many times in our life, we are faced with alternative choices when it is difficult to decide which one is to choose, but the decisions we take influence our future. Clear? The poem's dilemma, that is, 
uh, the poet was in a dilemma to who which way to choose is not it was that he did not know which road he had to choose when the road split into two he looked down to one road and realized that that road was taken by most of the people the other road was covered in grass and proves that very less people have taken that road the moral lesson that first conveys through the poem is that whenever life gives us choices we must make the decision wisely he also says that the decision must be taken independently without fearing its consequences as it is what makes all the difference so here the moral lesson what we get that is whatever the decision we will be taking we should take it very seriously by thinking several times and then we should make our decision because this decision is the only thing that would make a difference clear have you understood you go through the entire one and it will be easy for you entire point you go through the point thank you everybody